Which size of volumetric measuring labware should you use in compounding? The rule of thumb is, always use the smallest convenient size labware. Here's a 10 ml and a 100 ml measuring cylinder. If we need to measure 8 ml of a liquid, then this 10 ml cylinder should be ideal. The 100 ml one cannot be used because it does not have any graduation mark below 10 ml. Suppose we need to measure 10 ml of a liquid. In that case, using the smaller one will be way better than the larger one. Reading from the lower meniscus in cylinders with wider diameter results higher error. Syringes may also be used for measuring liquid. This one is 5 ml, which we cannot use for our desired 10 ml of volume. This one is 10 ml. Here are the graduation marks and can be used with precision. This one is 20 ml, still may be used with slightly higher degree of error. But this one is the least accurate of these because its capacity is 60 ml, which is 6 times our measurable amount. Also, it has the widest diameter. Volumetric flasks may be used only in certain cases because they cannot measure above or below the calibrated fixed volume.